Aloha, my name is Rosie Davis and I'm with the Molokai Homestead Farmers Alliance. We are going to talk about the specialty grant that we received this year and the name of our grant is to grow organic butternut squash and bunglong color. any further questions please let us know um, thank you aloha So, first of all, we're the Molokai Homestead Farmers Alliance. So, it's a group of farmers that are homesteaders. How many of you know what homesteaders are? How many of you live on homestead? Okay. You live on homestead? Which homestead do you live on? Bakia. Okay, awesome. Which homestead? Huh? Okay. So, do you guys want to share with the class what homestead is? Okay, it's lands given um, back in legislature 1920. Prince Kuhio went into legislature. He got Hawaiian land back for the Hawaiian people. So you have to apply, do an application, you're put on a waiting list, and then you're given homestead land. So a lot of these lands, the biggest percentage is to do agriculture. You can have a home on there. But a lot of it is to do farming, yeah? So rehabilitation of the Hawaiian people. So when we talk about farming, I just asked you guys, you guys knew what farming is. Is the regular farming the same as organic farming, or is it different? 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 What, what makes it different? Okay, okay, no, okay. Why is it different? This is organic means are natural. Natural, very good, okay. And, and Auntie Kate is gonna explain that. So we're just kind of asking you questions and see how much you learn after the presentation, okay? Okay, so what we applied for was butternut squash. Has anybody ever had butternut squash? You've had butternut squash? How did you eat it? Um, it was in like a piece of like pasta. Okay, you can have it in pasta. So if you see here, you can make pizza with it, soup, french fries, all kinds of different things. It's really good you guys have had it. And then, Kalo. How many of you are familiar with Kalo? Wow, everybody. So, um, being organic, it's a, a long process, and it's not a very easy process. But, on in the state of, oh, actually in the United States, the state of Hawaii, Antique Bay, and four other farmers here on Molokai are the only organic farmers. Of and papayas. Of papayas only, yeah. So if you go to Maui, or you go to Big Island, or you go somewhere, and somebody says they're organic, it better come off of their farm, because if it didn't, they're doing that against the law, yeah? So that's a big thing, because on Molokai, such a small little island, but we have something to brag about, yeah? Water and sunlight, that's good. Uh, care. Care, that's good. Sure. Soil, you need the soil, right? Fertilizer. Very good, nutrients, right? Fertilizer, some more. Uh, one more thing, starts with a T. Um, it's hot and cold. Oh, temperature. Yes, temperature, yeah, and temperature. So you need all of these things to make a plant grow, to make it, um, in particular, butternut squash. We chose butternut squash because um, <coughs> nobody does it. Nobody grows it. And, and for Molokai farmers, we needed to find something that was a specialty thing. So butternut squash and the taro. And um, 
if it's a specialty thing for Molokai, that means we're going to get better money. We're going to get better um, prices for for what we what, what we're trying to sell because uh, we fight against the shipping costs, the freight costs, and everything. Okay, so. To become an organic farmer, there's a long, long process. And uh, rules, I gotta follow rules. I think our book is uh, like that thick of rules. What we can do, what we cannot do, what we can plant, what we cannot plant. Meaning, um, everything that we put into our farm needs to be organic. Everything. Including our equipment that we use. If I, if I was to use one of my equipment at my brother's house, who's not organic, and then I take it to my place, I gotta shoot them down, I gotta wash the equipment, the tires, the tractor, the equipment, everything needs to be cleaned before it, before it gets on my place. The seeds that I use needs to come from a certified organic supplier. The fertilizers, I see you guys got potting mix in here. The potting mix on this, um, usually on the potting mix there's a label, and it has a little thing that has O-M-R-I. That means it's organic. So um, that, and what else do we need to do? The process takes maybe about six months to do, because I, I got a lot of applications to fill out. It costs me about $1,200 a year to do it. Um, what else? It's just a long process. But is it worth it? Yes. The taro, they use this taro. This, this variety is called chips. one long. Yes, chips. Who said chips? Well, yeah, chips. And you can tell, um, yeah, because why? You see it? Yeah. All these purple flecks inside. Yeah, so this is, this is what makes this taro special. This is the only chip, the only taro that you can use to make chips, and it's not going to be itchy. Yeah. So that's why we chose this. We're actually thinking of other ways that farmers can make money besides just growing the taro or just harvesting the leaf, you know, and provide to the market. So, um, so what, what happened is, okay, we got equipment, we got tractor, right? We got land, we got, we even got water in here. <laughs> so as we start, we start building, yeah? Start running through, and then you start planting, yeah? You start planting, you cover your seed. With the butternut, it takes about four months. So Auntie Faith planted these, and if you see behind you, you can see the butternut squash, yeah? So one of the things as a beginning farmer, you get all excited. It's like when you get a new toy or a new game or something. You want to go home and you want to hurry up, yeah? and play it on PX4, or whatever it is that you're doing. And you get all excited, you're doing that, and then all of a sudden you kind of win the first game and it's not exciting anymore. So as a farmer, you plant it, you see it, mm, maybe in a couple of weeks you see all the weeds, yeah. And you're supposed to go and it's like, ah, uh, okay, I'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow doesn't come. Before you know it, the weeds are taller than your plants.